Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a chatty style video. I wanted to talk a little bit about what I learned about my style in my 20s. As you might have seen from my previous video, I recently turned 30. I know, I can't believe it, the big 3-0. I'm now in that next decade of my life and I really felt like my 20s were a time that I really kind of experimented and I started to nail down exactly what it is that my personal style encapsulates completely, 100% and fully. I definitely say that I've had my fair share of shopping mistakes and it has really helped me to hone down on the things that I really like about the types of items that I'm wearing and the things that I feel really good and comfortable in. So I've got seven points that I want to run through that I learned about my style in my 20s and we'll start with the first one and that is that I don't really do color. If you guys haven't seen my style evolution video then I will link it up here so you guys can go and have a watch but essentially my closet was just this kaleidoscope of color. There were so many prints, there was just so much going on and there really was no consistency with what I was buying. It wasn't until I started to pare back my wardrobe that I realized that I really gravitate towards and I really kind of flourish with a more minimal and neutral color palette. So I love my gray, white and black, but then there's also a little bit of color that pops in there like blue, camel, a bit of blush, and more recently I'm really trying to get into red and also a bit of mustard yellow. So I am trying to kind of embrace a bit of color, but I know that my comfort zone lies in those neutral color palettes. The second thing is that when it comes to prints, polka dots are a key piece for my closet. As you'll see, I'm wearing polka dots today. I'm honestly wearing them at least once, if not twice, three times, four times a week. I adore polka dots and it's the kind of thing that I feel gives a little bit more life to my wardrobe because as you will have heard from before, I don't really tend to wear a lot of color. So this is a way that I can make things seem a little bit more fresh and have a bit more fun with the things that I do have in my closet. So polka dots, definitely something that I've really been gravitating towards. And I think it's something that I've really kind of embraced over the last 12 months for sure. The next thing that I learned about my style is that I don't really feel incredibly comfortable in things that are super feminine. I know this might seem a little bit strange given that right now I am wearing quite a feminine blouse that has beautiful ruffled sleeves. There's a little bit of a fine line I find between things that I really adore how they look on me and things that I just don't feel comfortable in and don't really feel comfortable when I'm walking outside of the house in. Which kind of brings me to the next point that I kind of learned about my style in my 20s, which is that just because something looks great on somebody else doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for me. I have this Pinterest board that is filled with so many different looks. However, I'm a little bit more realistic these days about what's going to work for my body shape and also for my personal style. And I've stopped trying to force myself to try and inject those little elements that I've seen that I love but that in reality aren't going to work for me because they don't work for my lifestyle or they just don't work for my body shape. Previously I would have gone out, spent the money, brought those things home and tried to make them work with my wardrobe. I would have forced myself to wear these things and wouldn't have felt good doing so. So now I kind of know that I should just leave those alone and admire them for the way that they look on those people who really rock them. When it comes to jewellery, one thing that I've really noticed as my style has grown and evolved over the years is that I really seem to gravitate towards minimally designed or dainty pieces of jewellery. I just really like the way that they uh, enhance an outfit rather than really stand out. To me that's what I want my jewellery to do. I don't necessarily want it to be the focal piece of my entire look. So that's kind of the types of pieces that I tend to gravitate towards. So I know that statement necklaces are definitely off the cards for me in the future. Point number six is that it is worth experimenting. As I've really grown with my style, I've found that every single time I've experimented, i found something new that I like, something else that I want to incorporate into my wardrobe, whether it's culottes, whether it's a new print, or whether it's a new silhouette of skirt, which I never would have thought to try on in the first place. It's really helped me to get out of a style rut in some instances and really helped me to reimagine some of the pieces in my wardrobe and wear them different ways. So while I try to stick to the classics, I love 
love those wardrobe workhorses. It really has helped me to see my style grow just by experimenting a little bit. Which brings me to my final point that I've learned about my style in my 20s and that is that basic is best. I really do seem to go for those classic wardrobe workhorses all the time. If you guys are familiar with any of my seasonal wardrobe lookbooks then you will know that I'm reaching for the same kinds of things every single season, day in and day out. For me, it's an area that I know I'm going to be focusing on growing now that I'm in my 30s and moving into that next phase in my life. I want to have those really beautiful classic pieces that are really going to stand the test of time and that I'm going to want to reach for when I'm 40, so in a decade's time. So those are the seven things that I learned about my style in my 20s. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I am going to be coming at you guys next week with a video on stupid purchases that I made in my 20s because I know there were a lot of them, so I thought it would be a bit of fun to go through those silly purchases that I kind of, in hindsight, regret making. Do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this from me. I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye!